Hey guys, Jason Garman here with PressureWashHelp.com. So today I'm going to show you Google AdWords. Not only Google AdWords, but I'm going to show you negative keywords and the importance of having negative keywords. So today I am going to show you that and I hope you stick around for that. But hey, before that happens, please go down and subscribe. But let's get on with Google um, Ads. And this week, I'm going to be talking about negative keywords. If you missed my um, ones before, um, go check out the playlist up here. I'll put it up here, uh, and it'll it's um, starting the Google Ad. You know, working your way through the ad campaign. And then the next one was I worked on positive keywords and the three different types of three to four different types of keywords that we use into a Google ad system. And today is all going to be about negative keywords. Negative keywords are probably just important, if not more important than positive keywords. So when I first started pressure washing, I did AdWords. It was about two years in, three years in, and I started dabbling in AdWords. And where I, I did it some in pressure washing, but where I really noticed where I spent a lot of money doing the wrong things was um, in Christmas lights. So in Christmas lights, there's a lot of negative keywords, and there's a lot of positive keywords. So I had all the positive keywords because this is when I use Google Express and they give you all the keywords and you really spend a lot of money because they give you every keyword that you ever want and don't want. But there was a place in Cincinnati, there was actually, there's actually two places that really get a lot of traffic, is the Cincinnati Zoo and they have this big festival of lights and there's a new one down at Coney Island, which is a little, little um, place in Cincinnati. River Bend, it's by Rivers Bend. If you ever, River Bend, if you ever been to a music concert there. And they have a drive through Christmas thing. And this was in 2014 or 15, I don't remember. I, I think it was about 14. And we spent almost a thousand dollars. That's right a thousand dollars on clicks to those two places and so i had to start learning what to do and and that's and in the fall in the spring i took some more google classes google ad classes and i learned hey there's this thing called negative keywords and these negative keywords is going to save us a thousand dollars that year we spent three thousand dollars in marketing and a thousand dollars went to the Cincinnati Zoo in Coney Island. And we get the phone call of, what time do your light show display start? Well, it starts at when you turn it on if you bought it from us, but you don't want that. You want something that is not thing. So that is the importance of negative keywords. And today I'm going to show you how to put them in your site and on your campaign. All right. So when we get in here and we get into our ads, we're going to go right here to keywords. And if you, I'm going to back up here. So this is our ad group. So make sure, you know, we're talking about pressure washing. That's our ad group. Then we're going to go scroll down here to keywords. Okay. So here's our search keyword. These are our positives and we want our negative keywords. So we're going to go right here to negative keyword. Once we're in negative keyword, so with pressure washing, negative keywords, and this isn't just for pressure washing. This can be for, you know, if you do carpet cleaning, if you do window cleaning, if you do any type of business that you're using, negative keywords are always, always what you want to do. So I'm going to, for instance, to say, um, today, we'll be probably talking a lot about pressure washing, maybe some window cleaning, maybe some carpet cleaning, maybe some Christmas lights. But for instance, we want to add, you can add a negative to our list here. So we're going to go to campaign and we can put this, set this up at the campaign level 
or we can set it up at the ad group level. If we set it up at the campaign level, we got to be careful that maybe that campaign, you know, maybe that ad group in one don't want it, but it might be all right in another ad group. So if we do it in the ad group, we might be killing out other words. So a lot of times I will do it to the ad group. Now, a lot, I have a set set of, of, um, of, of, of negative keywords that I can put on the whole campaign. And I'll give you for instance of them. Now, if you wait to the end of this video, I will give you 25 free keywords if you, and, and I'll tell you where to go to get them at. Uh, actually, I'll, and, and I'll give you 25 of them. And some of these are, you know, these will work on anything for, you know, pressure washing, house washing, roof cleaning, carpet cleaning, um, it'll work for lawn care, it'll work for win um, window cleaners. This 25 will work for any of these um, of, of these sections. Um, and I'm going to put a couple of them down here. So you're going to get a, a couple free ones right now. So if we're working in here, we're going to add some things that are negative keywords. One of them is and this can go, I'm going to tell you one, and then you'll be like, oh, I didn't put all of them. And that's exactly right. Lowe's. Home Depot. Because what these keywords will do is people will search pressure washers at Home Depot. Well, we don't care if they're looking for a pressure washer at Home Depot. In fact, we would rather them not be looking for them and click on our key. Now, some people will say, well, what if they go there and they click and then they might want you to buy it? That is true. That is true. That is true. They might do that. But most people that are searching aren't going to do that. They're looking for something at Home Depot or Lowe's or Amazon. So these are some of these that we're going to put on there. And this is going to save you clicks. Every one of these you put on there is going to save you a click. And that click could be um, anywhere from $2 to $25 to $50. If you're in some higher niche areas, $100. You know, roofing, you get into roofing, you know, those clicks can be way expensive. So we want to make sure we get these clicks in there that aren't stupid clicks. And you say, well, nobody's going to click Home Depot roofing. You don't think so? What about, what does Home Depot sell? Shingles? Okay, so you don't think people are gonna put Home Depot shingles? Yep, there you just lost a lot of money click. So these are very important. Um, these are very easy to put in there, you know? All you're gonna do is put that right there like so. You're going to hit save. And there they are. They're in that. They're over the whole campaign. So if anybody searches with anything with Lowe's in their um, search, it's going to kick that. It's not going to show your ad, and we don't want to show your ad when it says Lowe's because it's going to be stupid, and you're going to pay. Now, what we can do is we can go up here to search terms. Now, this isn't a running ad right now, but normally when we hit search terms this will be what people click this is where i got all these search terms so i also offer something for 49 dollars. i know i'm might have put a thread on them if you go to pressure wash help slash google ads and i offer a negative key list of over 300 it's actually almost over 400. Um, i do have a separate um one for window cleaning also in this list it's both entitled into it um, but the window cleaning list is stuff like Windex you don't want people searching for Windex to find you because they're probably going to do it yourself or and they're going to do it themselves so why do I want to pay anywhere from five to twenty dollars a click for somebody searching Windex we don't want to we want to um, do that. So if you want the big list, go here. If you want 25 negative free keywords, we'll go right here. What I was saying about this list here is when we come over here to the um, search terms, 
this is where the you know a lot of times I'll search back the last seven days and I'll I'll usually look at an account every seven days and I'll look in that account and I'll look at their search and I'll say all right they clicked this one they click you know they clicked um, well, I'll give you one is um, pressure washing hose well I don't sell hose I sell pressure washing but I don't sell pressure washing hose so guess what I'm gonna make hose a negative keyword so that way if somebody types in pressure washing hose they do not get my ad I don't want my ad showing for somebody that's searching for pressure washing hose maybe some other parts you know and some these are keywords that are all in my um, my big list now my free 25 um, list is a little bit different it's it's a little bit of you're more of Lowe's Home Depot I made this list good for pressure washers window cleaners carpet cleaners lawn care because you say well lawn care what about Lowe's yeah what about Lowe's they're trying to buy a freaking lawnmower you don't want to show up if somebody puts lawnmower in there or grass cutting or weed eating you don't want them to show up because of Lowe's. That's the last thing. Yeah, and and you know, yeah, that might be a potential customer, but they're probably not. If they're at Lowe's looking at it, they're probably going to buy it. Nine times out of ten, they're going to buy it. Now that tenth person, well, yeah, we lost that tenth person, but we also saved ninety dollars because we didn't get the ninety clicks versus that one there. So that is our negative keywords, and. Our negative keywords are very, very important. Like I say, in a two month span, you know, we started that year in November and we, it was about the end of October to the middle of December, a two month span, and we spent over a thousand dollars on bad keywords. If we took that thousand dollars on those bad keywords and put them on another set of good keywords, how much more money would we have made? So our negative keywords, I would put them are more important than our positive keywords. Now our positive keywords are going to kind of determine where it goes and what it is. But if somebody's searching for, say, pressure washing, and we got it as a, even if we got it as an exact match, and somebody has put in pressure washing hose, and you click on your keyword, that's a twenty. That's a ten dollar click. That's a fifteen dollar click. That's a two dollar click, depending on where you know where you are. So we want to save our money for those bad keywords. Negative keywords are more important than positive. Of it will save you money in the long run. Like I said, if you want my free twenty five words, go check out. Um, it is negative keywords. Pressurewashhelp.com slash negative keywords I am asking for an ad email address I don't know what I'm gonna do with them I'm just trying to build an email list and if it, it will get you 25 free email um, list when you fill it out it automatically take you to the page you need to go to also if you're looking at the negative keyword list and you want my big list and it's got a lot more you know a lot more um, list on it check out my uh, my one at um, Google Ads. It's um, pressurewashhelp.com slash Google Ads. Um, I hope that helps you out. I hope that you have learned something today. I want you to be able to grow your business and be very successful. Even if you pay somebody to run your Google Ads, it's good to learn this stuff because then they can't tell you a bunch of bull crap of well, blah, 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 blah. well if they're not putting your negative keywords in there and they're not checking that I and mean, you're getting bad clicks or if you learn to set up your key you know even if you know how to run it that way it gives you information to know that it's getting done correctly and even if they do it a little bit different at least you know when something is right versus that don't look right or something like that so Take this information, you know, and go make money. Go grow your business. Go be successful. Take action. You know, go do it. If you don't do it, it won't work. So, you know, if you don't do it, you're nothing's going to get done. But if you take action and you learn something from it, 
you will be very, very, very successful later on down the road. So, if you would like to check out my my listings up here, if you missed out on my other Google Ad, um, um, on my setting up the the ad and a um, neg or positive keyword, I will keep this as a playlist. And I hope you have a great day and a successful one. Thank you, and have a great day.